Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Act on Questions and today I'm looking at doing some transcribing using Dragon Dictate and for this I want to use my iPhone and uh, the reason I might want to do this is because typing on the iPhone is a bit of a pain in the bottom and what I'd like to be able to do is to do some recording into the iPhone and have it transcribed at a later date when I get back in at the house. But today what I'm going to do is I'm in a different situation, I'm out in the countryside for instance or down by the beach or I could be anywhere and I've got an idea I want to get it in there but I don't want to type it so let's press Recorder Pro because that's the one I used before it produces the file with the .caf uh, ending to it and I found that I get that into the computer but then I have to use something like Amadeus Pro I save it as a file which can be read by the Dragon Dictate so the Dragon Dictate it will take the M4As I think probably takes the MP3s I haven't tried that one but it also take the AIFF uh, type of files but it's not too much of a problem to save as with using Dragon Dictate so it's just another step but I'm not too worried about it I did try another one called uh, Voice Memo or something like that and it worked out pretty good but I had to email the file to get it into the computer so a bit of a hassle there but it wasn't too bad and it was the type of file that the application would look at straight away and the recording was just as clear as when I recorded using this one here which is the um, the voice recorder one here I've got now the recorder pro so let's just go into this one here let's see if I can get a new file going so let's say record so now I'm recording into this microphone here and when you are recording you have to remember to use your punctuation full stop and maybe even add a new paragraph so that is enough for now for this recording full stop and I will go and have a look on the computer and see what I can do with it going to do is we're going to have a look at the transcribing of this here let's go to Dropbox here and the one I want to use is called dictate1.caf and open with Amadeus Pro so that's what I recorded as I was sitting in my chair in the recording room in front of my green screen and all I've got to do is go to this and do save as I can save it as a number of different types of file and the one I tend to use is this one here AIFF save I uh, had that coming through Dropbox, as I said it was the uh, best way to do that, to get it out of the iPhone and onto the computer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Drag and Dictate, I'm going to go to the Tools, Transcription, and I'm going to choose my file which is there, look, Dictate 1, and I can click on Open. So as you can see it uh, comes through with it straight away. Okay, so you can see what it's doing first of all before we get started with this is it takes um, 32 seconds of 20 seconds required for calibration has been accepted. So obviously when you're doing your first recording, do make sure that it's longer than 20 seconds. And what you have to do is you have to go through these sections here and accept or reject them. So this one here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on accept. And full stop is correct, so I'm going to click on accept. I have to go through each of these in turn. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job of turning the speech into text and had doing it fairly accurately with that 20 seconds worth or 32 seconds worth that it required. And when it's all in green like that, then you can click on Calibrate. So this is going to be an invaluable tool for when out and about with the iPhone. I could do it with an iPod as well if I wanted to, or I could do it as well with the iPad. So record into it and then use the file when I get back to base and what's quite good about that is the fact that uh, it'll save a whole lot of typing on the keyboard there and uh, as long as I know what I'm talking about I should be just spot on okay so that bit of the transcription thing has been done now we're going back into this tools again and go to transcription so we go back into this again and select the file that we want which is that dictates one and click on open and this time it'll do the job of changing it from speech into text. We've got this thing over here which tells us that it's doing its stuff and as you can see in this one here, Untitled 4, it's going through all of that there. It doesn't take too long to do it and the thing to do is that once you've done it, you can go back into it and do some editing of it to 
get it just the way you want it. It's going to make a few mistakes on this here. I think the problem is, is that uh, when it does make a mistake and you can't understand the sentence, you can't remember what it was that you said, then it can be a bit agonising to have to remember what it was that you wanted in there. So let's turn the microphone on. Select sort, sort, insert after, add a, new, paragraph, full stop. As you can see what I did there was I said those two words separately because I didn't want to add a new paragraph to this. I wanted to actually write the words new paragraph. You have to remember some of these little tricks sometimes when you're doing this here because there's some things that you're going to want to say and instead of saying it, it will actually put something in there such as a bracket or something like that. That's how you use the transcription facility within Dragon Dictate. It's pretty easy and could save a whole lot of time when it comes to doing your typing on the iPhone. And that takes into account also the fact that you do have to do a little bit of cleanup work afterwards once you get it into your computer in Dragon Dictate. So this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions looking at Dragon Dictate and transcription of audio files that you create on other devices such as the iPhone, the iPod or the iPad or even any other device that creates the right type of file. So this is Dave Allen. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.